Last year, I submitted a video for the Linus Tech Tips ASUS ROG Rig Reboot competition. Joining me here in the studio, building their very own brand new gaming PC, courtesy of ASUS ROG. And the community really seemed to enjoy my submission. I'm beyond ecstatic to have made it to the top 13 contestants, even if I wasn't one of the lucky three winners of a completely brand new system. Now, I have some good news and some bad news. The good news is that over the past year or so, I have been slowly finding PC part deals and checking things off my wish list. And now I finally have everything I need to give my old system a proper upgrade. But there is some bad news. I am now ineligible to take part in an ROG Rig Reboot for at least the next decade. I am now utterly- And another thing, it's not going to be nearly as simple as it looks. <laughs> You didn't know I was a sax player? <laughs> Let's go upgrade that PC. So the first challenge here is hardware compatibility. This is my 4U computer slash server chassis. And that means, yeah, that means it's about seven inches of space to work with. And I swear to God, and all whatever creators are out there, I, I don't, I swear, I, I'm so adamant I will never build in a tower case. I won't do it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. And I don't even have like a rationale why I hate it so much. I just think- Nope, this nope, nope. This was a lie. I was lying to you. I do have reasons. For one, they take up so much space on your desk. And number two, if it's on the floor, you're gonna have so much dust. And if you don't have filters on your fans, you're just gonna have a bad time. Dust going into my fan. Ah, uh, no. Oh, and then also water damage too. It's just, it's just bad. By the way, this is just a strong opinion I have. If you've got a tower computer, great, awesome, cool. So obviously a big constraint. It's a 4U chassis. That doesn't leave a lot of hype for CPU coolers. And here's my issue with that. This is the CPU that I'm going with. It is an i7 12700K, that's right. Intel, we've gone Alder-like, baby. And with CPUs that absolutely just chug, they just smash, they just eat power, cooling's gonna be very important. And oftentimes when you can't plan in air cooling, you often go to water cooling. And I thought, whoa, stop right, ugh. whoa, stop right there. Have you ever had to ask if a component would fit in your computer chassis? Cause if so, I've got the solution for you. And her name is Cardboard. <laughs> Look like, look down here. All right, there you go. That's my PC. Can I put a 280 millimeter radiator in there? This is a little cardboard mock-up of an AIO cooler that I think will work, but just to make sure, here it is in cardboard form. It's a lot cheaper and easier than having to buy it, find out that it doesn't work, and then send it back and get a refund. This is so much better, trust me. So this particular water cooler, you see see how much like a water cooler, <laughs> oh, wait a minute, <laughs> wait a minute. See how closely it resembles a real fan and radiator combo? I mean, it's almost as good as the real thing. You got your two fans and you got your radiator. Oh, this does take into account the thickness of both the radiator and the fans. So don't worry, I'm thinking I'm, there's something. Oh, Jesus. Ah, uh, she is heavy. She is heavy. Oh yeah, don't mind my haphazardly tossed in um, SSD. I will figure out a place for it later. Just, you know, it happens. <laughs> All right, so this has to, uh... oh boy. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's not looking too good on upon first glance. Let's see if I can move stuff around.
Oh, hello. Okay, uh, yeah, okay. Wow. All right, as it turns out, I can get, uh, I can actually remove all of this stuff from the front. That's kind of awesome. And then that, that means, ah, uh, yes. Oh, look at that. That's the most beautiful thing. I mean, isn't that just the most beautiful thing you've ever seen? I mean, maybe it, <laughs> actually, maybe it isn't. That is, I'm gonna make that work. Maybe this side, maybe that side, I don't know. That's gonna work. That's my dryer. <laughs> But you see, with just a little bit of cardboard, I now know that it's safe to buy that 280 millimeter radiator. So back to you, Thomas, in the future, who probably already has it by now. Thanks, me. You're right, I do. Here it is. It's the Be Quiet Pure Loop 280, and it's still gonna be a bit of a challenge to secure it in the case, but we know it'll work. I'm gonna set this aside for a little bit later and just work on the bare necessities. In the meantime, I can focus on some of the easier parts of the build and, oh, oh yeah, these guys. I need to explain these. These are super duper old 120 millimeter fans that have got a little bit more oomph when it counts. Uh, they're made by Foxconn. 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 Box. Earning less than 300 US dollars a month. These workers are either killing themselves or Limits trying workers to. workers to a 60-hour, six-day week. By Apple's own data, only 38% of its suppliers complied. And in this stress room, employees can work out their frustration. So a model happy employee. You're happy. <laughs> Oh God! Yeah, sorry. I I don't know what just happened there. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, these fans. Uh, they're they're more powerful, more static pressure. It's going to be important in this case. Yeah. All right. Let's get to it. completely gutted the old system, and uh, we'll actually take a look. Take a look. Let's see, I've got quite a bit of space to work with over here. Motherboard doesn't really extend past here. I'm thinking I can try and center the radiator so I have good, fast, uh, high-velocity airflow on either side of the radiator. And then the high-power fans that are, uh, I don't know where they are, are going to be able to push air into the radiator more effectively. Um, but I think that's probably, that's probably a battle for tomorrow. And by the way, that old system, I'm not getting rid of it. It's probably just going to end up being my next NAS because right now I use a one terabyte NAS and I'm, as I'm sure you can imagine, these video files get quite big and it's really starting to feel it now. So sometime in probably the pretty near future, I'm going to need to do that. I'm going to need to make a new NAS. So. Stay tuned for that. Moving on to the very start of the build, here's all the components I have laid out here. We have a MSI MAG Z690 Tomahawk Wi-Fi DDR4. I decided to go DDR4 because of prices and availability of DDR5 at the moment. And I really don't need much in terms of memory speed. So this is just fine for me. This GPU, oh boy. I'm sure you understand the state of GPUs in the world right now. This was not an easy find. So I'm gonna, here, I'll go ahead and just, this is the Asus dual overclockable 3060 Ti with eight gigabytes of DDR6 memory. It's not the most powerful 3000 series car out there, but it fit my budget and I just so happened to snag, absolutely just destroy a deal that I found on eBay. Um, wasn't the end of it though, I bought it, I received it and it didn't work. So I had to send it back to ASUS to get it RMA. They sent it back without the flashy packaging. So here's what you got. 
anti-static bag and it's got its peel, but hey, you know what? It's a 3060 Ti. I mean, I, it's a 3060 Ti, come on. I mean, you, you realize, you realize like my last GPU was a, a GTX 680, right? Like you realize the <laughs> upgrade. Anyways, since I'm using a Be Quiet cooler, they sent over this adapter for LGA 1700, which is what Intel 12th gen CPUs use. Also setting that aside for now. SSD, RAM, and a 12700K. Let's get started. Man, they put a lot of stuff in here. Cool, a uh, piece of paper. They're advertising more stuff, more stuff, more stuff, more stuff. Oh, and then this is important, the manual. Uh, when you are working on a new motherboard that you are unfamiliar with, you should keep the manual, like really. It, it, it'll answer whatever questions, like even really tiny little things. It'll, it'll have all the answers right here. This goes through the bottom. This, oh, ho, 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 ho. So I've gone Corsair Vengeance LPX DDR4 at 3,200 mega transfers per second. The 12700K only supports up to 3,200 mega transfers. Um, I would have gone with a 36 or higher kit, but since the CPU doesn't support it, it's just not going to use that extra performance. This is fine. Um, I really like Corsair memory, never let me down before, so good kit. Oh, and like my, I made a point about this in an earlier video, but I'm going to check the manual really quickly. Depending on the board itself, you might have the two dims in these slots or these slots. Really want to check your check your manual to make sure. Ah, yeah, okay. So right here on this page, it's recommended that we use these two slots rather than the first. So these these two, slot two and four rather than one and three. See, check your manuals. Don't just toss them right away. Click, click. Click, click. Memory's in now. Let's do our SSD. I'm gonna use my only clean knife, which is like an eight inch kitchen knife. <laughs> oh man, talk about overkill. Remove the little plastic part for the, the, the thermal tape, and then you can just plop it down. All right, well, this is cool and all, but this is probably all that I can do right now before making some like really serious modification on the case. So I'll get back to you when I do that. That's a pretty good stopping point for right now. I've made a bunch of modifications to the case and let's go through them all. So the first thing you'll notice is here, the radiator secured by double-sided tape to this motherboard tray. And don't worry, it's not all double-sided tape. Right back here is a bracket that connects it to the shell of the case. So 
I'm pretty confident that that's not going anywhere. I also mounted the SSD here. This is a three and a half inch to two and a half inch sort of adapter thing. So that'll go here and then any kind of cables that need to be run can go underneath. Finally, you'll notice right here with the two fans, um, I just did away with the middleman and all of that metal stuff that was in the case before and I just screwed these directly to the front. Lots of room has been cleared up back here, so if I do need to add anything in the future, like hard drives, whatever, I might consider doing it back here. But I figure with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and get the motherboard. I can already tell that cable management is gonna be hell. <laughs> all right, in you go. I tell you what, these trays just make everything so much easier. Water cooling time. Oh, I need my thermal paste. It's gonna be an interesting thermal paste application. Never, never, uh, never pasted a 12th gen CPU before. Cooler. Oh yeah, plastic. Remove it. First. Oh. Fan, fan. Oh, man. man, there's just so much going on in this case. Alrighty folks, it honestly wasn't that difficult to set up, but now that it's done, we should probably give it a test. We are going to start with my absolute favorite game. Hmm, yeah, I'd rather not get into a copyright battle with Valve. And the medic kills me. Uh, the medic. Oh, the medic. Ah. We're just gonna run. I think this is probably a good idea, right? Maybe. Oh, yep. All right. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna stop right there. This isn't going so well. Oh yeah. Let me show you some Premiere as well. Because my number one complaint with the old system was that it just didn't have enough VRAM, and it was really slow VRAM. So. Premiere would just kind of outright crash on me a lot of the time, and I'd have to reload the hardware encoding, and... <sighs> so now I have more VRAM, I have 8 gigabytes, and it's much faster VRAM. So just like, just look at this. But I could do full quality playback, look at that. And it does just fine, like boom, here you go. Uh, voltage is kind of like the pressure okay. of that water. Okay, the maybe not so good, like let's try a quarter. <laughs> Here's a quarter. Okay. So when I say high voltage, quarter looks pretty good. I don't think I need like more than that. Washer, you know? Yeah. All right. Pressure washer. Mm -hmm. Take it over. It just. Man. I'm sorry. I'm just blown away by how snappy this is. This is such a huge improvement. You have no idea. <laughs> All right. Before I get too carried away. Man, it's such a good PC. Oh man, I mean, like, like the hottest temperature it got through all of that was like 39C. Like 39 degrees, what the heck? It's a, it's a 12th gen, it's got 12 cores. All right, for efficiency, eight performance, whatever. Uh, it's still, that's insane. <laughs> but I mean, uh, I mean, you know, before I get too carried away, like it's a good PC, it's a damn good PC. I'm gonna go to bed because Lord knows I can spend like another four hours playing around with this thing, but I got work in the morning. I, I gotta, gotta go to work in the morning. Thank you. Thank you for taking the journey with me. It's good PC, had a good time. I'm going to bed. Uh, bye bye, goodbye. Have a good night, everyone. Bye bye, good night. Uh.